Welcome back to FabroMove Detailing. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Mad Tools Pegboard Hook Kit and their pegboard paper towel holder. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so Mad Tools, and it's Mad with two Ds, and it's two Ds for double duty, is what it says on the side of the box. Um, they claim that their pegboard hooks are 2.3 times larger in diameter than the average ones on the market today, and I can tell you they are after having them in my hands. This is the average, probably, hook right here. I have tons of these. This is what I've been using for years on my pegboard, as you can see. Now, let me put the Mad Tools right next to it. Look how much thicker these are. These are gonna be more sturdy when you put them through the holes of your pegboard. Let me show you top to bottom, like this, best way I can show you is like this. Look how much thicker their arm is here also. So when you put these in, also you notice, well, I'm gonna show you this too. If you notice the actual hook that's actually leaning against the pegboard to give it sturdy, it's not nearly as angled as the other one is. The kit that they sent me is a 60 piece kit. It runs $54.99 on Amazon. I will put everything down in the links, links in the description of the video where you guys can find these on their website and you can find it on Amazon. Um, the kit they sent me has a variety of items. It is a kit that has a bunch of different hooks in it, straight hooks in it, um, plier holder, screwdriver holder, uh, several things, and I'm not gonna be able to use all of these. These aren't gonna fit what I need, I don't think, in my garage with my two pegboards but I'm gonna be able to use a lot of it and I will show you guys once I get them up what it looks like with them on there. I love the baskets too. I think the baskets are gonna be absolutely awesome. I got plenty of, I've already got all these ideas I wanna put in the baskets. Um, but you can go on their website and you can order a la carte. You can order like a 10 pack of straight hooks, um, 10 pack of regular hooks. I mean, you can go on there and you can buy what you need and the prices are actually really, really good. So if you have really thin pegboard, this is one of the baskets right here. This is the spacer they're talking about. So if you have really thin pegboard and this wants to lean out just a little bit, you actually just put this behind the pegboard, put your hook through, and that's going to straighten it out to level out your basket. So that is pretty cool. And these lean against the pegboard to give you to make it sturdy. Now onto the paper towel holder. This thing is really cool. It's like, I think it was $31 on Amazon. It claims that this shelf will hold 100 pounds on your pegboard. That is absolutely amazing. Um, as you, as you can see, we have pegboard hooks on the back. We have screws on the back, so you can actually, it comes with nuts, right here. It comes with nuts, and you can actually secure it to the pegboard to make it even more sturdy. You take the little hook out of the side to, to change the paper towels if you want to. This is absolutely an awesome design. And then the Mad Tools is not a sticker, that is etched into it. So very, very well made. Uh, it's, it feels very, very sturdy in my hands, and I think it's gonna be awesome. So let me get all of this stuff that I'm going to use put up on my pegboard, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Let me show you guys what it looks like right now as far as the types of hooks that I am using. You guys can see that or not. These, are, I mean, I've been using these for years. Really skinny. You got some longer ones up here. And see this kit, like I was saying, it, I, need, I need more of these. And you can order all of these in 10 packs, which is awesome. Because um, I, I like to hang my foam cannons up. But this is the kit that they sent me for this video, which is awesome of them to do. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to be able to use all of this. But let me get everything put up that I'm going to use. All right, you guys, we got it all set up now. Let me show you what we did not use. Like I said, I wasn't going to use this whole kit because this is kind of a miscellaneous kit. It comes with a whole bunch of different stuff. You can buy all this stuff individually if you want to in like 10 packs. So a lot of these straight hooks I had no use for. I did use one long one of these and then the four short ones. I used a couple hooks. I think I used all the middle. I did. I used all the middle size hooks. Um, these I didn't have much of a use for right here. I will show you over on the other pegboard. I did use these just for an example because I keep my pliers in my drawer. So I didn't really have need to put them on there. And then it does come with these. I don't know if I mentioned it in the video earlier. What these are, these go on the end of the of the hook. So if you have something you don't want to get scratched up, it can be that way or, you know, keeps it from getting scratched up. And then I didn't use the screwdriver tool either because I have a screwdriver drawer. Um, one thing I should mention inside the box is this nice little pamphlet. It tells you everything you need to know about the company, what the hooks are used for. If you're really satisfied, they want you to give your feedback. 
<laughs> but pretty cool. And they explain everything about their tools or, or their hooks, how what sizes they are and everything like that. So that's really nice. So up here, got the paper towel holder. As you can see, this thing is awesome. I absolutely love it. It is really sturdy. Now what I did do is once I put the hooks in and I put the white PVC piece behind it, if you guys can see that or not, you can see that white right there in the, in the holes. That's that PVC piece. I have my paint thickness gauge up here on the shelf. Um, I did put two nuts on the back side of it to make this thing so it doesn't want to come off at all. You know, when you're pulling the paper towels, they're not going to come off. I used uh, the, the large tray right here for my extra brushes and then my detail guards, hose guards. Now, what I needed more than anything out of this kit or when they sent these to me, what I need for my use are these longer ones like this or even the shorter ones. I used two of the shorter ones right here on this foam cannon and it works absolutely great. And it just keeps them, keeps it nice and perfect. I mean, that's just the way I want it to be. And then I have all my old ones up here and all my old ones and stuff down here. Behind here, I use the individual uh, screwdriver holders, whatever you want, these ring holders for my brushes right here. And I used another short, straight one for these three proper detailing brushes right here. Okay, so on this pegboard, I used two of the bins, one for my measuring tape because I'm always losing it, we can never find it. So it now has a dedicated home right there. And then this one's gonna hold all my extra sanding discs for my, uh, this is a, a knife sharpener. I sharpen my mower blades with it, stuff like that. I used a hook tool right here for my brush. I used hook tools for my nail gun. I use another hook tool for my funnel. And then a very long, one of the long ones for the duct tape. And then a short, actually no, this is the long version because it, it comes with two sizes of this type of hook right here. I use that for my electrical tape, which works perfect. Just sits right on there nice. Uh, another hook over here for my paint gallon openers which I always lose, so now they're hung up. Here is what these are for, these plier holders right here. That's how you would normally use them. I put this here for an example. That's not how I'm gonna leave them because like I said, I have a drawer in my toolbox for them, but that's what the pliers uh, holders for. And then I got another hook here holding my oxygen mask on. And uh, that's about it. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. Like I said at the beginning, if you are interested in any of these pegboard hooks, I will put links down in the description of the video where you guys can find it. Uh, on their website or on Amazon. And if you wanna build your own pegboard where you just buy the ones that you want, you can also do that. You can do that also. You don't have to buy the whole kit. I love the paper towel holder. I would definitely suggest buying that if you have a pegboard that just puts your paper towels in a, in, in a perfect spot in my opinion. So I wanna say thank you to Mad Tools for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate that. You guys, these pegboard hooks are way heavier duty than the ones that I've ever owned. I absolutely love them. And I wanna thank you guys so much for checking this video out. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the Fab family. We'd love to have you and we'll see you in the next video.